In this video, I'm going to go over how to set up and manage a Square payment gateway to your WooCommerce site. So to get to your payment gateway settings here from your dashboard, on the left-hand sidebar, click WooCommerce and click Settings, and then you'll find the Payments tab up here at the top. So to add access your Square settings here, here it is. We're going to hit Setup. The button's all the way to the right here. A couple seconds, it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. We're going to want to enable this gateway since we're working with Square. And then we can change the title. This is the way it will appear to the users on your website. So you could do credit card. Um, most people just leave it at credit slash debit, but you can do credit card square. If you have several payment gateways and you want to make sure that they select the one that they prefer, even though on their end, it's pretty much all the same. And generally you'd use only one or two um, PayPal plus square or Stripe. Next up here, we can change the description. This is a description that the customers will see on your website. So uh, generally something saying, pay securely with your credit or debit card, pay securely with your um, checking account information or anything like that uh, generally is uh, good enough as a description. But if for some reason you needed to add something else, you can put that here as well. Next up, we have two transaction types. First one being charge, which is where we will not mark the transaction as complete until the funds have actually moved off of that person's account and into yours. Or we can change it to authorization, which means that um, we will move it into a completed state and we will uh, move forward with the order or give the person the product um, once the bank, uh, the bank of the cardholder has authorized that charge. You can see whenever I switched to the charge, gave a couple of little options right here. So charge virtual only uh, orders, which means that if the order contains exclusively virtual items, um, that means that we will immediately charge instead of ask for authorization. That means that, um, for example, if someone's downloading a product of yours, maybe it's a program, maybe it's a video, maybe it's something like that. Um, of course, we'd want to set it to charge because if it authorizes and later bounces, there's really no way to get that file back from them. So uh, generally, we would want to charge virtual only orders, meaning that even if authorization set for physical items, digital items will never be given to them un until the funds are actually yours. And we can capture paid orders here, which means we'll automatically capture orders when they're charged, when they are changed to processing or completed. So that means once the order is paid for, everything will move over to uh, completed. Then accepted card logos here. Um, these are the cards that you have set up that you accept through uh, Square. Um, so the defaults Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and JCB. But if, for example, you accepted Discover, here's Discover, you can select it. And now it shows that you accept Discover. And it's just as easy to remove for some reason if you don't accept JCB. This little X here, just hit it, and off it goes. Next up here, we can allow customers to securely save their payment information. Um, this will be paid on Squares. This will be saved on Square servers. Um, this won't be saved on our server or your website, so there's no additional privacy conformity you have to worry about. Um, but this is a really convenient option for whenever you have returning customers who might be buying something else. Instead of making them enter the card information again, they can use the card they paid with last time. And then we can provide detailed declined messages. So if for some reason the card is declined during a transaction, um, you can send detailed information to that customer rather than a generic decline message. Um, typically, sometimes the card, uh, the card holder's bank will kick back information as to why it was declined, and you can forward that to the customer. If, for example, they entered the security date wrong or, uh, or their credit limit has been reached or something like that, you can check that so they can see that. And then lastly, you don't need to use this drop down box. This is just for us, just in case something goes wrong and we need to go in and start troubleshooting your website, which of course we're able to do for you in case something goes wrong. So once you're finished with this, you can hit save changes. And then we will move on to actually adding and authorizing your Square account to your site. So there's a Square tab up here. You can click that. A couple more little settings in this tab. Uh, we can enable sandbox mode in case you wanted to test Square before you deployed it. And then we can do something right here. We hit this button. It'll bring, uh, bring you to the Square sign-in page where you then sign in with your Square account information. And that's what allows, uh, allows you to authorize Square to use it within your website. Um, Square does not appear by default um, as an option with WooCommerce. You have to install it as a plugin to your site. And it's just as easy as in this left-hand sidebar. Uh, hover over plugins and then hit add new. 
and it'll take you to a search page here in a couple seconds. Then we can search plugins here, so you would just search for WooCommerce Square, just like that. It takes a couple seconds. Of course, it'll show up as already installed and active for us, but for you, all you do is just hit Install Now. It'll install, and then in your installed plugins, you can go around to it, and then uh, where this says deactivate, you'll hit activate, and now we're good to go. You can see that that's the same for Stripe and Square. So once you have everything configured the way you like it, and you have it configured the way you want your customers to go through the checkout process with Square, you are done. Those changes will take effect across your store from here on out. If you have any questions about the Square Payment Gateway or Payment Gateways in general, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you.